what up what up everybody i wanted to make a real quick video as always um this one's going to be on bitcoin bitcoin's had a crazy swing today so when i woke up this morning bitcoin was down like seven or eight percent and since midday today like around noon it's starting to get a big rally back up it's swung about eight percent and now we're coming back in contact with this downturn of resistance that we've been holding now for two months so back in april um, we started this downturn of resistance um this was around 48k Hit it two times, boom, a third time, sellers come in again, a fourth time, why not a fifth time, and now we're hitting it a sixth time. Eventually, I think this thing's going to break. Um, historically, when Bitcoin has these downtrends, they do break. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But if this thing breaks above this trend line, we'll probably come up here to this 37, 38K area. I mean, this was previous support multiple times. This will probably act as resistance our first time seeing it. So we want to see this volume Get a nice little spike here. We're going to see a little spike in volume, probably higher than all these candles here. I'd like to see it up in this candle range um, whenever we break through this trend line officially in the four-hour time frame, which we're looking at now. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some of the previous times we've seen this. It's not automatically a green light to new all-time highs, um, but you want to see these downtrends that last for one to two, maybe three months. Break out with volume, like I said. This one, when it broke out, um, this was end of last year going into this year. We came down, we eventually broke out. We had a little move up for 18%, had a little volume spike as well. Nothing super massive. So this wasn't actually 100% volume confirmation. This would be a little worrisome. And this is why we didn't get a follow through all the way. We came back down and then got another move up before we started our next downtrend leg here. Um, but previous times, like back um, last year in 2021, back in September, we started this downtrend. Then we had a nice little break above. When we eventually broke out, you got a little volume spike down here, you can see. And then we moved up nicely over the coming 40 days, went up 60%. So those are the type of moves that you guys can see. Here's another one. Lasted for a couple months, broke out, got a nice move up. These happen all the time with Bitcoin. When you see these downtrends that last one or two months, when they eventually break with volume, you get nice payouts if you guys enter into trades on them. I'm in a long position already, um, but I did take a little bit longer position. I added more to my um, Bitcoin long-term hold today. I mean, I figured anyways, it's at 31,000. The risk to reward in this, I like it even if Bitcoin doesn't break out here. I mean, if you look at the 200, 200 weekly, I've been saying it for a long time. I think that's where the... Well, the long-term macro support's going to be. We, we hold the 200 weekly multiple times in the past. Down, down, downside potential is only 22,000 right now. So long-term, even if it's a breakout right now, I like that. I like the long-term play. But I think it's going to break out here. We've got a big swing back up today. Keep an eye on it. Trade it if you guys want, but manage your risk. All right, peace.